how would you rate your level of trust in the current government? All right, so let's take a look at what the Jamaican people had to say. 50% and 52% respectively indicating some measure of distrust in the Prime Minister and in his um, administration. So the, the slip is happening on the, P, the, JLP, the JLP side. One side slips, one side stalls. One that's side slips. Slip. That's not a slip, that's a slide. slide. One side is sliding <laughs> and the other side a is stall. holding like relatively a, firm at, at so gaining the vote of one in five persons. Robert Morgan, 50% of the Jamaican people do not trust Andrew Holness. That's bad news. The people of this country deserve better. And too much things is happening and nobody is saying anything. People need to be spoken to, not to be talking down to. Who know them, oh, who know them real senses now? I got to talk up Andrew and think Andrew would have voted for you. And, and vote for Andrew and everything. For seven years. What Andrew do you know? It's unprecedented to the man. The man had a liar, this thing, you know, the man destroyed the economy in a, in a, in a one strike, you know, brother. Well, I have my ears on the ground and many persons who supported the Jamaica Labour Party and uh, Andrew Ollis, I can tell they are disappointed. Their lives have become poor. And I can tell you, that the response is that they will never vote for him again. It's either they do not vote entirely in the next election or they will vote for the PNP. So when I heard that the polls have shifted in favor of the PNP, I can tell you that's the reality. I am hearing on the ground before the polls were even released. So because the Jamaica Labour Party is spiraling downwards in the polls. They have become very desperate, so they draw for the race card. And that but makes I it even worse that, now. Can we do that now? I'm going there. Yeah, man, we're going there more. Yeah, man. No Jama racist thing on me. Jamaicans have become matured. People are more interested in things that are affecting their lives. Mm. I don't think that will ever work. People are more interested in the economy, you know, education, security. How they and their families can move forward and live a better lifestyle. I don't think this thing will ever work. How are you, sir? Yes, are you a teacher, ma'am? Yes, I am. How much I money are you getting for the month? $30,000. What you said? $30,000. Jesus, no, um, this, no, me have to go for me turban. 30 what? Yes, sir, $30,000. Um, we, we, we. This government faced so much public backlash from the civil servants. 
What caused the negotiations to have gone that bad? Minister... Highly offensive political commentators are weighing in on Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark's Master Mark comment, which caused chaos in Parliament on Tuesday. As we hear in this report, there are more calls for the minister to apologize. There has been outrage across sections of the society following comments by Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark, referring to opposition leader Mark Golding as, quote, Master Mark, end quote. The comment led to a heated exchange between opposition member Dr. Angela Von Burke and the minister, who he called on to withdraw his remark. But that did not happen. Speaking on the morning agenda on Power 106 FM, political commentator Damon Gordon explained that the remark by Dr. Clark dates back to the years of slavery. Consider the fact that it was directed against a white politician in Jamaica, clearly in, in both intent and outcome. It was highly, highly offensive. Yes, and, and that kind of discourse has no place, especially in our parliament. I think politicians should use their influence on public platforms such as the parliament, which is a formal secret institution, to promote values that bring people together, not to incite, um, you know, political, social, or racial tension of any side. He further noted that the comment was uncalled for, especially because of what was being discussed at the time. Managing Director and Editor-in-Chief of the Western Mirror newspaper and political commentator Lloyd B. Smith describes Dr. Clark's comment as unfortunate, suggesting that he should apologize to the House of Representatives. Dr. Dr. Um, Clark had brought to the Parliament over these years as Minister of Finance a certain level of probity, decency, etc. And what he did yesterday shattered that image because what it has done is to suggest that the, the partisan virus has infected him and he has to rewind and come again. In fact, at the next sitting of the House, you know, he ought to apologize. Would you want anybody call you nigger? I nigger, Nigel, tell me no man. Nigel Clark! Would you want anyone to call you nigger? What Mr. Nigel Clark said about the opposition leader is very disrespectful. Okay. Extremely disrespectful. First and foremost, you said something to the fact that uh, it is very possible that he was referring to his family tree about slavery and slave ownership or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, if Mr. Nigel Clark think that there's stupid people out here, now I'm calling you from Canada, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I heard this, I felt so, I was so upset. I wanted to look for a website where I could send them a message. Look, you need to let Mr. Nigel Clark know that he needs to apologize to all Jamaicans because we're not stupid, okay? Based on the comments, basically, that was made yesterday, um, Nigel Clark, the manner in which um, I looked at it and the manner in which Jamaicans are treated in Jamaica by the private sector, by people coming into Jamaica, by the government, mm. the way in which they are treated, and it's very inhumane. Yeah. The same way in which slaves are treated so i don't know if you see where i'm going with this yes slaves certainly. are treated they treated inhumane without compassion as if they're almost not human property mm -hmm. food, traffic whatever they want to be done with them they're treated with cruel and unusual punishment yeah get their surname mm -hmm. now when the sitting government nigel the opposition leader mentioned that mark mentioned uh, that Mark was the master, called him Master Mark. Master is Mark. This because he, yes, Master Mark. Is this because he looked as Jamaicans as being slave? Mm. Do you consider Jamaicans to be slave? They cannot be a slave master without a slave. So if he is Master Mark, what are you implying? Are you implying that Jamaicans then are slaves? No. And I can't believe somebody who is in the government would make a statement like that. You know, I'm not a PMP. I'm not a JLP. I really don't care. 
But you don't say things like that. And that was disrespectful, Andre. Yeah. Extremely disrespectful and racist. Okay? So he's not the smartest guy on the block. Okay? All so right. That was I want to know why Minister Nigel Clark took those high political lines in the house yesterday. I want to ask Minister Nigel Clark, you remember how they behaved in the house yesterday? I want to know, Minister Nigel Clark, you called the leader of the opposition a master, Mark. What were you alluding to? Were you alluding to his, 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 paternal or his, his par parental background that he came from a line of slave owners? What were you alluding to when you said Master Mark? Just as how you alluded to him being a Bakra master. Nigel Clark. Yes. So I want to say everything will go on. I want to like up the video. Like up the video. And share the video and subscribe. I'm going to ask you one question. One question I'm really want to ask you now. After you look at everything what you see here, do you think that this government have the people best interest at heart? No, I don't think so. I mean, no, only not think so neither. So after Nigel are doing budget presentation, and I'm having budget presentation for the, him end up to the point where I write it in his speech for a talk about Master Mark. We all know what you're making reference to, sir. It regards to some slave master. And in this modern day and age of 2023, Jamaica has put that behind us. And it is very sad and uncanny of you for you to do that. A lot of people expected better of you and you're just showing your true colors. It just goes to show that you guys are all jokers and Jamaica needs serious people for around them country. And you guys are going to pay for this. A whole heap of people, including food, including food, the very own labor right, attack. I said, I'm sorry, them vote for no. I want to let them down. People who never have voted before said, them have vote. They no need no run for come for them. They no need no taxi for come for them. Them personally going to the polling station for voting no out. So Jamaica had a big problem with the prime minister because they couldn't trust him. When he said the polls, 50 and 52% of Jamaicans do not trust the prime minister and our administration that don't look good. Look up on you seeing Bolt and money. Look upon the problems and look upon the promises. 5% in four years, we don't say that. Them say we could have sleep with the windows and doors open. As a matter of fact, we are sleep with the doors, them tight now, and we are lock of windows, them tighter. Allow like me to tell? No, we are lock of windows and doors tighter. Carnal Regional for done, it don't done. We say it going to cost 2 billion. Now it reach 8, it reach 10, we say it reach 14. Kingston Public Hospital do have no CT, scan machine, or MRI. Carnal one. Not working. Money missing. So this I want in a fraud. This I want in a corruption. It is tricks they are playing. Tricks them are playing. Tricks and games. Clark's tricks. Peanut dread tricks. Publicitant trick. People tired of it. All tricks. Tricks are for kids. We need people who run the country who think about the people. And once and for all, people say something. They don't care for them. And we not go pay. Remember me telling you that. We not go pay. So people like the video, share the video with a friend. Make sure you share the video and make sure you subscribe. Because people tired of this government and people sure. So time come, they are go get them out. Yeah. What is Seven years now we can't work. And you want come tell me after seven years, guys, so you're just a plant seed? You're just a plant seed after seven years of getting the work? Well, pack your butts and go. I'm going to give somebody else the work for them. Nobody want to plant the car. Everybody want to read it.